Welcome back to Living Local. We're out here in Rio at Heartland Creations Alpaca Farms. Not only are alpacas absolutely adorable, but the docile animals also make very valuable farm animals, producing one of the world's finest and most luxurious fibers. I'm joined by Kathy Albert, and she is the owner and manager here at Heartland Creations Alpaca Farms. Uh, Kathy, thank you so much for letting us stop by the farm. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank oh, you for being here. And who is your friend here? This is Eric Parent. He's one of my herd sires. Wonderful. Such a wonderful, docile creature here. Kathy, tell us, how did you get into owning and raising alpacas? I had a very strange childhood. My dad was an avian exotic veterinarian. He's since retired or supposed to be retired. <laughs> Um, so I grew up saving everything and I did want livestock, but I didn't want to have to have anything to do with the butchering process. Right, and so that's what led you to alpacas. So tell us a little bit about the history of Heartland Creations. Heartland Creations started 19 years ago. I bought one little girl that was less than 24 hours old. It was before my barn was built, it was before fences were built, uh, but it was a way for me to get into the business and start slowly and, and build that business from there. And you have a history as an English teacher and a principal, but you're still able to be an educator now with alpacas. So tell us a little bit about these animals. Alpacas are part of the camelid family, along with llamas, guanacos, and vicuñas. Uh, originally, they're from the Chile, Bolivia, and Peruvian regions. Uh, of course, they've been domesticated for a long time now. Uh, they're raised for their luxurious fiber because it's warmer than wool but feels more like cashmere. And they are green from field to fleece in that their manure is very good fertilizer. And uh, their fiber, of course, is hypo hypoallergenic. They're incredibly valuable farm animals. In addition to just being super docile, you mentioned that they are great for, you know, they can be around kids, they can be around the elderly, pretty much anyone for the family. Um, tell us a little bit, you mentioned llamas, and I know that there are llamas here on the farm. How can people tell the difference between llamas and alpacas? Llamas are typically used as pack animals or as guards. They weigh about 200 pounds more than what the alpacas do. And if a llama is looking at you, its ears look like bananas. And if a parent <laughs> decides to put his ears up, they would be straight. Right, you can definitely tell that. The ears are the definite giveaway and the sheer size of the animals as well. Uh, so tell us a little bit, some unique traits about alpacas. Uh, they only have teeth on the bottom. So they are like a goat. They have a hard palate on top. They're two-toed, so they're easy on the ground which my horses were very hard on the ground when I used to have those. <laughs> and these are Surrey alpacas here at Heartland Creations alpacas. Most people have Wakaya alpacas and their fiber grows out. If you look at our parent, you can tell that he has bangs mm. and their hair grows down uh, like this basket of fiber right. here. Right, and this is so interesting. We have this basket of fiber here and you mentioned that it is one of the world's most luxurious and finest fibers. So what about this alpaca fiber makes it so unique and valuable? There's no lanolin in it, so it is hypoallergenic. People who can't wear wool can wear alpaca. It feels more like cashmere to the touch. Um, and for the Surreys, they're a little bit silkier to the feel because of that dreadlock style haircut. And with this incredible fiber, you have made a wide variety of alpaca products. Right here behind me, we have some examples. So walk us through the different items that you have. This is Air Apparent, actually processed into a scarf. So this yarn is off of his fleece specifically. I can start and stop the processing at any point. Um, a lot of people come out and they want to know the story of the animal or they want to know which animal their uh, yarn or their scarf has come from. So that's an opportunity for me to do that. And then I belong to a bunch of co-ops too. Uh, so some of my fiber goes that direction and then I work with additional companies. So you sell a wide variety of alpaca products. You have people on the farm for tours and you do you sell the actual alpacas? Yep, livestock's for sale. So buying and selling the breeding stock and I do show the animals throughout the country as well. That's wonderful. Are there any benefits do you think of owning alpacas? Oh, where do you start? <laughs> <laughs> um, quality of life for one. Uh, the fact that the entire family can be involved with the livestock would be another one. Obviously, this is a more high stress or stressful situation uh, today than what he would normally sure. have in the pasture, but you can see how mild tempered they are. Um, and with the alpacas, either ears up or ears back like this is a contented pose. Um, so he's not angry right now. He's just checking everything out. Right, he's just aware of us. Yeah, we're kind of strangers right here, <laughs> but I feel like he's warming up a little bit to us. Do you offer any alpaca services here? I do. We offer short-term and long-term boarding services. Um, of course, he's one of my herd sires here, so I do have some people bring their female alpacas out for breeding services. 
Uh, I teach felting classes, both wet felting and needle felting, and we're in the process of putting a classroom on the property to take care of those um, classes. And then I also have a lot of bus tours and farm visits, large groups, small groups, individual visits who come out to see the animals. Kathy, you have so much going on here at Heartland Creations. I'm sure you say it's super busy. And there's also a special day coming up. It is called the National Alpaca Farm Days. What is that and when is it happening? It is. This is, I believe, the 13th year for that event. And the national organization actually started it. And it's a chance for alpaca farms to showcase what they do with the alpaca fiber and to let people uh, from the general public see the animals and get up close to them. Oh my gosh, I have just been so excited to visit the farm here. Just looking at the alpacas, they're so adorable and so sweet and I never knew that they could be so incredibly important for our ecosystem and also the, just the wide variety of products that they can provide. Um, you will be having an open house to celebrate National Alpaca Farm Day, so what can people know about that? Oh, they can come out and see the animals up close. Of course, the farm store products will be for sale. Uh, vintage carnival games will be set up and there will be activities for the kids to get involved in. And I have picture boards too, which families always enjoy taking pictures and sticking their head through the alpaca head hole um, to keep those in their memories too. Kathy, before we wrap up, what is the most rewarding part of this process? You've been doing this for 19 years. Reflecting back, uh, what has stood out to you the most? spending time in the barn every day. Mm -hmm. That's got to be therapeutic. Very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for letting us stop by, Kathy. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you for letting us stop by. You have been a wonderful guest here <laughs> on Living Local. All right, you guys, for more information, visit hcalpacas.com or find Heartland Creations Alpacas LLC on Facebook. More Living Local continues after the break. Stay with us.